All right, you guys, so let's check out how to make this iridescent liquid text effect here in Blender. First, I'm going to export this liquid type from Illustrator into SVG file format, and then we're going to import it into Blender. Let's go to File, Import, Scalable Vector Graphics. And I'm going to select the text, click on Import. I'm going to select it, press the letter S, scale it up. And I'm going to select one of the letters, select all of it, right-click. I'm going to join it, right-click on it. Set origin, geometry to origin. I also got to change up the color here at the material to something light. Then let's go to data. I also got to increase the resolution a little bit more, for example, 25. Let's open up the geometry and we're going to go here to the extrusion. I'm going to go with 0.01. So it's going to add a little bit of extrusion right here. Right click on it, go to convert to select mesh. And then we're going to go here to the modifier and search for remesh. Here I'm going to go to the voxel size and decrease it all the way down until the text is going to become clear. I'm going to go somewhere around 0.000700. Let's click on the arrow, select apply, right click on the text, select shade smooth. All right, so from here we're going to make it rounded. So let's go here to the sculpting, zoom in. And here we're going to select a, by the way, these options are new and updated right now. I'm in Blender 4.4.3. So in this situation, I'm going to go and select the smooth tool right here. You also can go here to the radius, increase it. I'm going to try it out with 200 ish. And let's go to the text. And all you need to do is just paint on it. And it's going to start smoothing it out. Do it a couple of times and repeat this step with all the letters. I'm going to speed up the process. After you are done with the top, also make sure to rotate and repeat the step with the bottom as well and make it rounded. And the final result looks something like this. From here, let's go back to the layout. And first, we're going to set up the HDRI. Let's bring this up, switch it to Shader Editor, activate the nodes here, and I'm going to switch the object to World. Zoom in, select the background, press Ctrl T. If this shortcut doesn't work, you're going to need to activate the Node Wrangler. So let's go to Edit, Preference, go to Add-ons, and search for Node Wrangler. And here it is, make sure to check it, and then you can activate. We're going to change up the environment texture, click on Open. Let's select an HDRI, click on Open, and activate the render here. Right now it won't show anything, let's go to the render, we're going to switch the EV to Cycles and change up the CPU to GPU. Also decrease the max sampling, for example, on 100, and it looks something like this. I also got to go here to the object, let's go to the rotation X, change it to 90, press Shift plus A, I also going to add a plane, I rotate the X as well to 90, scale it, and I'm going to arrange it to bring it to the back. All right, now we're going to add the material on it. I'm going to select the text. Let's go to World, switch it to Object. And I'm going to click on the X, click on New. And here we're going to increase the metallic all the way up. And I'm going to decrease the roughness. I'm going to go something like this. Now press Shift plus A, search for Layer Weight. Place it here. Search for Color Ramp. Place it next to it. Connect the facing to the Factor. And Color to Base Color. And then we're going to go here to the RGB and change it to HSL. And now we're going to go to the near, change it to far. And next we're going to change up the color, select the black. Click on the color. I'm going to bring up the brightness all the way up. This is going to be the pink. And we're going to go here. For example, I'm going to make this orange. And then we're going to click on the plus to add another one. And this is going to be the green, toxic green. And I'm going to bring it here. Now, in order to make this work even better, you're going to need to switch up the HDRIs or find the best HDRI. For example, I'm going to go back to the world and you also can rotate the HDRI. So let's do that. And that way we can manipulate the colors on it. And check this out. If you rotate, it is going to bring up this really cool iridescent color combinations. So pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.